Authorization in mobile apps doesn't need to be complicated. At this.labs, we found that one of the biggest friction point for users when it comes to mobile applications is the login and sign up process. I'm gonna show you how to make this process super smooth using the sign in with Apple functionality in React Native. For this example, we're gonna use Expo's Apple Authentication NPM module, which provides easy access to Apple's authentication APIs. We're gonna start by installing the Expo Apple Authentication package. Now that we have that installed, we just need to do a couple configuration changes. Go into your app.json file and modify your iOS configurations to enable the Use Apple Sign-In option. Once we have that set, we'll go down to our plugins configuration and add the Expo Apple Authentication plugin. The next step after this is to run the command EAS build configure so that Apple is aware of your application and permits the usage of sign-in with Apple for your app. I'm going to get started implementing this functionality by first providing a space where we could save the credentials once Apple gives them to us. Now that we have that done, we'll implement the login button as well as a user logged in notice whenever you have completed authentication. Implementing the authentication button is very simple. You can just copy the example that Expo provides and paste it directly into your component. Make sure you don't forget to add styles to your Apple login button. All right, now the final step is just to save the credentials once Apple passes it to us. All right, let's fire up our application and see how it's working. All right, here's our mobile app. We'll just test out the sign-in process. And just like that, we're done. One of the things that you're gonna receive from Apple once the user completes login flow is some data that looks like this. Make sure that you save this in a backend database for future reference because Apple won't continue to provide their email, name, or other information in future login attempts. The key thing that you wanna look for is the ID saved on the user attribute of this JSON object. That's gonna help you be able to reference the user again and again in the future. All right, that's sign in with Apple. Now get out there and make your users happy.